This is Ricky Harbour with Subside Electronics. During this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to perform a simple scan or acquisition using the Subsite 2550GR ground penetrating radar system. We'll begin by starting the program. As the program opens, you'll see several different selections. New project new assisted project, open project which is opening an existing project, the ability to adjust your settings and of course the exit button. For this demonstration we're going to use the new project selection. If you see this error it's nothing to worry about either you forgot to turn on the controller or you might check the battery condition on your radar unit but if you forgot to turn it on just simply close that down power up your controller and start it again and you will see that everything will work just fine what it just did it was it went through the calibration process you see how simple and quick and efficient that process is. Let's begin talking about what we see on the screen right now beginning with this area right here. This is the map area. Since we're not using a GPS device with this unit for this demonstration we're going to go ahead and go down here to the bottom and toggle the map area off. This is going to give us more real estate to view our scans. Now notice that you have two different scan screens, the shadow scan and deep scan. With the 2550GR you have the ability to simultaneously scan shallow and deep providing more efficiency because you might see something in one screen that you don't see in the other saving you time and money. So let's start by going over here. This is our start and pause acquisition acquisition button. This button tells the program whether we're going to push the radar or pull the radar. For today's demonstration we're going to push it. This button gives us the ability to refresh that calibration. At any time during the scan we can stop and just hit this button and it will refresh the calibration. If the ground conditions change or if our surface conditions say we go from asphalt to uh, dirt, we can simply refresh it by pushing that button. Then these buttons are our marker buttons. This is to add a marker. This gives us the ability to edit an existing marker. And this gives us the ability to delete any markers that we may have placed in the scan area. So let's start our acquisition by pressing our start button. Now it's ready to go as we push forward. You will see it start to acquire a scan. As we go across utilities you will see it place a hyperbola in the scan. If we want to mark that scan on the ground we simply reverse direction, place the yellow line right in the center of that hyperbola or haystack then we have the ability to place that paint mark on the ground. There are a couple of red marks on the antenna showing you where the center location is at on that uh, on the radar. We're going to grab our marker and then we're going to go over and we're going to place it between the transition of the first color and second color in our hyperbola. The, our marker screen appears and then we can adjust the propagation velocity with this slider. What this gives us the ability to do is uh, kind of fine tune the calibration in essence and give us a more accurate depth. Then we can select what type of utility it is. For this particular choice it is a drain so we're going to use other and we're going to keep it green and then we're going to name it drain. And when we select OK 
you're going to notice that it places that marker here on our screen. Now as we push forward, you'll see the yellow line move back forward again. And when we reach the end, we will start acquiring again. And we'll continue this process along our full location. Once we reach the end, we can either pause our screen or we can continue and just change directions, loop a, a few feet or yards uh, down one direction or the other to continue our scan grid. For this uh, process, I'm going to go ahead and end it. And then I'm going to move over about 15 feet and I'm going to start the scan again and continue that process. Once again, as we see these hyperbolas, we can place the marks on the ground. But if you're having a little bit of trouble seeing them, you do have the ability to zoom in on the scan. You also have the ability to adjust the contrast by using these buttons down at the bottom. The zoom button is right here. You got increase zoom, zoom in, zoom out on the left. And this is zoom to fit screen. So as we zoom in, it makes it a little easier to see. We can adjust the contrast to help improve it. There was one right here that was wasn't as visible when it wasn't when the contrast was lightened. So you can see we can do quite a bit to increase our visibility of any possible utilities that we cross. You notice as we stop and started, we also switched paths. Every acquisition can have one or multiple scans or uh, swaths within that. As we stop and start again, you notice we went from two to swath number three. You can have as many as it takes to complete the job. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact your local Ditch Witch dealer or your subsite product support group. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.